Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today we are going to be, this video is going to be a little bit serious as in most of these types of videos. So we have to, so we, we have to talk about Sabi Biobi and Soul Dynasty because just released today, well yeah, can't call today. Um, it was, apparently it was revealed that um, Sabi Biobi has made some controversial political comments uh, about Chinese uh, about ma mainly the Chinese government, which caused the Chinese Overwatch teams, mainly Shanghai, well, Shanghai Guangzhou, Hangzhou, and Chengdu, to boycott over. So, we're just going to read this article. I will leave a link to this article. It, this was made by Dot Esports, and it was written by Meg, uh, Meg K, and this was um, on the May 3rd, 2021, at 9.27am. I think that was around American time as well. So, let's have a read on this. The Overwatch League's Chengdu Hunters, Guangzhou Tar, Shanghai Dragons, and Hongzhou Spark have reportedly announced that they will refuse to participate in any activities, including Soul Dynasty's main DPS, CBOB. This decision comes after controversial comments were made on CBOB stream regarding the, the unification of China and the freedom of speech on the Chinese streaming platforms. Uh, so basically, uh, so, they, so they won't be doing, so they will continue to stream um, well, sorry, scrim against Soul Dynasty, but it won't be, but they won't scrim if Sabi Obi is there. On April 14th, um, holy fuck, yeah, April 14th, so, so, so that was a month ago, Sabi Obi posted a handwritten apology note to his Instagram account, apologizing to the Chinese Overwatch community for controversial remar um, remarks made on his Do You livestream. Clips of the incident have, se have since been deleted, but the remarks were allegedly based. So if I click on this link here, uh, around the perceived lack of freedom of speech on Chinese streaming platforms surrounding the, the political climate of Hong Kong and Taiwan. So here we are, so we got like a Twitter, so this is a Red Ulster post by Dave the Braves. So it says, so I was browsing NGA and found a, for a forum discussing SBB statement on Twitch recently. As you know, Soul Dynasty players re usually stream on Do You. Uh, a Chinese streaming site, but apparently SBB went on Twitch for a while and discussed some stuff. Example, complained about how when streaming in China, you can't say, you can't make certain statements regarding Taiwan and Hong Kong, and how his manager said that, said that he understands, but in order to make Chinese money, you need to become China's dog. So he cracked a joke about how he's a great dog, and how he can say thanks for the donor in Chinese. As, expe as expected, there are tons. Uh, there are a ton of, of patriotic Chinese people getting pissed, and in my opinion, this is not this is not good news for the league. SPB statements are probably going to get him screwed over either by Seoul or the whole league, which might even turn into another Blitzchung fiasco if Blizzard aren't careful. To and to anyone to and to anyone wondering, yes, a ton of Chinese people have VPNs and they're linked to access websites like Twitch and Twitter. The censorship there isn't as watertight as you think. So basically, yeah, he was just saying how, like, he, like, he, he was mainly just curious. So, yeah, I guess, like, it kind of makes sense, but it is, like, the handwritten apology. Obviously, I am not Korean, so that's mainly him just saying, sorry, this is my fault, I apologize. Um, maybe if I can actually maybe view it on Instagram, I can maybe translate it. Uh, there it is. Uh, I don't actually know if I can. I don't, I don't think I even can actually, which is sad. Um, but not too good for Sabi Obi, um, obviously. Uh, today, two weeks after the incident, after after the initial incident, the managers are and owners of of all four Chinese organizations in the Overwatch League posted on Weibo that that they'll be bo that they'll be boycotting all activities involving Sabi Obi and have no said what actions would need to take place for the boycott to be lifted. Notably, all of these teams have only said that they were boycotting CBOB and not the Dynasty, meaning that Seoul would, in theory, be able to play against the Chinese organizations if they fielded a DPS, a different DPS play, which they have been doing recently. They have been, they have been mainly playing Profit and Fit, so it won't really be a big issue, I think, for Seoul. A statement made by Shanghai Dragons General Manager Van, uh, Van further outlines the extent of the boycott. The Dragons won't participate in any activities involving CBLB, according to Van. This includes scrims, commercial activities, and interviews. 
The statement also also acknowledged that Sabi will be made an official apology, but claimed it wasn't sincere enough to warrant the, the lifting of the boycott. Activision Blizzard has yet to has yet to comment on the situation. This is cute. This is big big news, and in my opinion, they need to be very very careful, Blizzard, because just like in the Reddit post, if they don't like if they're not if they if they're not careful enough, then that means there may be another Blizzard situation. And no one, no one wants that. I think Blizzard's already learned their lesson about the about the whole Blizzard Chunk situation. Um, well, I'll give you, I guess, like a little bit of a of a recap if you don't really, if you if you can't remember, you don't really know. Basically, Blitz Chunk, a Hong Kong player, uh, I think Hearthstone player, if I remember correctly, he won a tournament. Did a, he said it basically in his interview, um, liberate Hong Kong, freedom of something, basically talk about the Chi the Chinese activities there, mainly the uh, involving the Hong Kong government, and that caused them to be banned, uh, banned from um, all hearts uh tournaments from Blizzard, um, and obviously caused an outcry, basically calling Blizzard dumbasses and just sucking after China, which, I mean... It, uh, it kind of makes sense, obviously, because Tencent, I, I think, owns a little bit of Blizzard, and obviously, I think China's like one of Overwatch's like, well, so so one of Blizzard's biggest uh, mark, uh, market. So they basically, decided to take China's side. People didn't like that. That caused a bit of a riot, a bit of a, a little bit of a uh, protest. Uh, and then they lifted Blizz Chong's ban to I think six months now. They 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 also originally got rid of all the prize money. Now they actually put it back, so there's all the prize money is there. And yeah, so that's basically it uh, for the Blizz Chong situation. I I don't know if this is gonna be similar to this one though. He didn't really say any. Well, I think I don't know if this is, uh, like because I don't know if this is gonna be more severe. I guess because it does involve the boycott of four Chinese teams and obviously if China, like if, if it's about like four teams boycotting about one player then that's pretty bad already so I I just don't really, really know what they really want to do here well obviously no, no one knows what what Blizzard wants to do here um just in my opinion like I don't blame him for saying it uh, but I can also I can also see why people would be very very offended by it, and how you know just like I I don't think a boycott should be really be needed. I think like maybe like a suspension. I think that's fine I guess because at least like he's still in it. But a boycott that's a I think that's looking a little bit too far. But you know boycott maybe that's probably good enough to a suspension. But I don't know. Um. So, like I said, just like I said, like, like his comments kind of make sense because, like, well, because yes, it's true, but obviously criticizing the Chinese government is not really a good idea, and, um, sorry, and, uh, you know, just, like, he, like, he was very confused about why, like, uh, he, well, he was like complaining, but mainly probably confused about why he couldn't say Hong Kong, Taiwan, and all that stuff, kind of makes sense as well, but. Um, yeah, so, that came out of nowhere, I'll be honest, I just woke up on Instagram and found that, I was like, oh, okay. Um, I'm very interested to see how this really goes forward, I will be updating you, um, uh, you guys when, when there's like an update coming out about this, this is actually massive, and this may impact his, his career, but, we just have to wait and see, so, uh, that is it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys on next time in the next one. Goodbye. Half a minute's all you get for the standby. Demons in the sky made the saint die. Pay no attention to their fake lies. Pay no attention to their fake lies. The whole world's turned wicked. DOA, it's a one way ticket. Modern day, Armageddon, not afraid. I'ma get it. Feeling my bullshit. Collecting my chips with caviar. No, I'm not a newbie. Come take it, I look at my.